Hi, it's me again. This time I'm going to show you how to make a mood light from a jam jar. Of course you can't see it especially well in this lighting but it's absolutely gorgeous when all the lights are off in your home. Okay, first up well, we've got our jam jar. Um, then you'll need a piece of elasticized lace with a nice um, border on it preferably. I tried to dye this glass earlier and it didn't work. A little bit of dye in there. Anyway, wrap this around as tight as you can. Cut it to um, cut it to size. Then I'm going to go through the sides together off, oh my goodness, off the actual jar. Using hot glue. I'll wait till it's a bit hotter. This is just an ordinary, um, oh, I think it's 300 mil Cotty's jam jar. Doesn't say on here, but Just your regular size or, or any pretty jar that you've got. So we glue this a quarter of an inch. Pop the other side over. sleeve now make sure it is very firmly glued because you're going to be stretching the hell out of it yesterday I was working with some um, stretch velour <laughs> all over this oh I just put some in my mouth Pop our sleeve over. This is a really nice shape jar. It's, it's almost shaped like a vase, which is really good rather than just a straight up and down. You can either cut that off at the bottom and put um, a trim around there or you can fold it over. I'm going to trim it off.
So I will put a trim on around the bottom there. Now, obviously, we've got a back now because we've got a seam. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's find some nice trim for the bottom. I may yet put uh, a trim around here or a collar or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll just play as we go along. First up, just secure it to the glass with some glue. See, some of these trims are hard to tell what is back, what is front, that's front. So, start off in the back. this trim so that the bottom of the trim is going to be level base. our base. Now I'm going to put this aside for a sec and we're going to work on the lid. Obviously we don't want that orange colour. I've got a piece of, um, I don't know what it is, but it's, um, I was trying to get this glue off my fingers. It's quite a thick fabric and I like to use this for making my cushions. It's not a, a satin crepe. It's, um, I suppose, similar to the stretch velvet, but it doesn't stretch. Anyway, I've drawn a circle there from here. So I'm going to put some glue inside that circle. And pop 
put it on. Now that's not really what I was hoping for. In fact, not at all what I was hoping for. Hey, I make the mistake so you don't have to. Felt would be a good thing to use, but I don't have any felt. see through it. Not thrilled about that. Let's cut it out first before we glue it. I'll use liquid glue for this. Just in case it's a problem with the um, hot glue. I don't think so. I think it was the fabric. But we'll use tacky glue. Hopefully it won't go through. Not that you're going to see the lid anyway, but I just want some sort of, oops, cover for that horrible orange colour. Because we are putting a flower on, what I have decided is this one, one of my um doily flowers I made that's going on the on the lid and also around the side I've got this piece of trim which is about one cent oh yeah almost a centimeter wide that's going on first In fact, I'll just do that now.
something that effectively hides quite a lot of the orange. We are also going to put a trim on it. I can either go that way or I can go that way. I'm still seeing some orange there. I can't get rid of it completely, but never mind. I think we're going to put put the scallop downwards. I think. Downwards. That's it. Didn't I say downwards? Sure I did. And if I pull my trim as I'm doing it, that top part is curling around the top. See it curling around the lid there, which is good. I'll try and stay in camera. Okay. You can put more trim around there. In fact, I may yet add more. But that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is insert the light into here. Should be the last thing I do. This particular one takes batteries, it takes those flat type of um, lithium batteries. I'm not quite sure. So we will make sure that we don't stick the opening part, which is that, on. Make sure we stick the back. I'm using these thick um, foam sticky pads. And I will add hot glue as well. I'm mainly adding those pads for height because it's easier to get to the, the little switch. When it's built up a little.
And when you're putting it in, make sure that you've got plenty of room to put your finger on the switch. Okay, that just I open that up a bit more and then I just pop it in there. In the jar. Okay. Set that aside for the minute. Now this is by no means finished. We've got other lace to go on top. I'm going to add a little bit of glue just around that neck area. Okay, now I'm going to add some of this. Should fit pretty well. So I'll cut two rows off. a little bit of stretch but I don't really want to disfigure it by stretching it too much if at all. You can put any kind of lace on top of this if you like. Just put a collar or, um, or um, doily flowerets on their own. Decided to go with the whole thing. Actually, I'm going to take that bottom little medallion off. Sorry, I keep veering to the left. side hard to tell very hard to tell I think the fuzzier it is it's back okay we'll sit this on it um, on its back seam if we can into that and just wrap it around. Luckily I don't have to um, trim it because it's going to fit just perfectly. Put the glue there. Just a tad long.
excuse me. Better go along the bottom. Hold that in place. And along the top. can't see it properly but gee it's nice very nice also going to do is decorate it if I can find the opening. Sometimes these stick and sometimes they don't so I do like to put a tiny smidgen of hot glue on there. Of course, you decorate yours with whatever you've got naturally. This would be fabulous if you were having a nice hot soapy bath. Instead of using candles, use one of these or several of these. 
use up all your jam jars. Oops. Okay. I don't think that's going to affect the lighting, but it's just making it look prettier. And of course you can be as, as simple or as ornate in your decorating as you like. The first one is quite, quite heavily decorated, especially the lid. But this one is a little bit more toned down if you like. I had thought of putting a collar on. I'm not 100% sold on that. Um, so gently open this up. in with a bit of a twist so it doesn't just close back up the same way it, it opened up because you want it to fill the whole jar You can't see that, it really is so pretty. I think it does need something here, so I am going to add another trim. Doesn't hurt. I could go with something like this. I 
I did this. I would have to put another trim on. Or if I put that underneath as a collar, how is that going to affect? It's quite pretty, really quite pretty. Hmm. Certainly does a lot to hide the edge of the of the lid. I was either going to go that one or I was going to go that one. I think it was this one. And I would have to put another bit of trim on. But that's okay. That's okay. Or I could put some pearls around there. It's a shame it's hiding that gold striated lace. I could have put that on afterwards actually had I known I was going to do this. So perhaps it might be best to plan things beforehand. Normally I do, I did to a certain degree. You can still remove the lid easily. So,
tell where I started. Well then, it doesn't matter. Oh, again with the yeesh. go. I'm so happy with that. Very happy with that. Could add a little something to the top. Since I've introduced um, pink to the sides, I might add some pink, some of my pink beaded flowers. decorate the top. They are nice. Hmm. 
those are pretty too. They're all pretty. Big one, big one. Something that is going to pick out the pink. So I think I'm going to go with these. That's beautiful pink. Plus, I do like them. Wish I had another one of them. Um, not the daisies. Not. Hmm. Not that. Pink, pink and white. Probably go around the top. I can manage to hide that wire around there. Looks good. Hello, Possum, you all right? You want to go out just when I've got hot glue on the go. You want to go out. You just have to wait just a sec, okay? Just a sec. Yes, I know. I can hear you. My obnoxious little chihuahua. No, he's beautiful. Just trimming off a little bit of the end, this metal stem, wire stem, sorry. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let the dog out first. These possibly look like buds because they've got the same um, flower centre. Should I put them? That might be too many. Let's go with three. Let's just go with the three. If anyone would like me to do a video on how I make my beaded flowers, please just ask and I'll be only too happy to do it. some contrast those
master that off. I do sell these flowers in my um, made it shop. I'll pop the link down below. Flowers are easily arrangeable on the wires to what you want. Where should I put that one? Whoa. side you can see I've made them stand up a bit give them a bit more depth that one as well you can move them around display them whichever way you like that is so pretty and here we go, flip it on, and just be careful of the wires when you tuck them back in. You don't even have to screw it tight, just sit it on there, that's fine. Oh, if only you could see it without... Um, the glare it really is so so pretty there is one more thing I'd like to do I'd like to put something on the front. I don't know what yet. I'm just going to rummage in this little box. See what I can come up with. Center front. This is the center front here. There, I think. 
really matter about. Just a little bit of chain. Seriously, I think I need a scrub pad to get all this glue off me. Up, I'm going to open this little ring. Close it back up. Another ring at the bottom. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pouring down outside. Absolutely pouring down. Okay, now we close that one up. Make sure it's closed properly. since pre-dawn rain first started okay um, I probably should have kept that one open I'll just add another one to it. Another one in. So you 
probably tell my glasses aren't the best because I can hardly see a damn thing. Make sure it's on tight. Okay, we're going to take a bigger ring. Open that as well. I can find the opening. There it is. That. Now decide how much of a drop I want. I'm thinking that way. So I'll put that big ring there. Now the large ring is what I'm going to use to glue it up in place. With what? Use some of this. Put some glue on the large ring. Right through my fingers, God Almighty, that hurts. Be in the wrong place. Up there, that's the way. Okay, we've got that there. Now, to glue one of these on the top of it. sparkle there now and that also may come through with the light I don't know here we go I think I'll add some of these well, you can't see them too well I've got some pearls these we no can't use them they look too much like okay I think that's it too many more decorations would spoil it and this is the the other one Hope you enjoyed my little project and ramble and give it a shot decorate your jam your old jam jars rather than throw them away make them useful um i will try and get a link for those um 
night things down below. I have two left in my stash if anybody wants them urgently. They'll be four dollars each. We'll see you next time. Bye.